All right. All joking aside, I really do make the best cheeseburger on the planet. And no, I'm not a good cook. Quit asking me to put out a cookbook. I don't know how to do anything. I can make eggs in various forms. I can grill meat. I'm not bad at it. I'm not some world-class pit master. And I can make the best burgers on the planet. Would you like to know how? Anyone can do it. Here's how. And just know the reason why I make the best burgers on the planet is about the time I was about to get out of the Marine Corps, this is 2004, I, I'd previously been okay with cheeseburgers, but then I just started getting in this burger obsession. And I just decided cheeseburgers are the greatest food ever. And so when I got out of the Marines, I got an apartment by myself, and I dedicated myself to figuring out how to make the greatest cheeseburger. And so I would just go get ground beef and buns and everything else, and I just started experimenting with stuff and throwing stuff in and added this and taking away that. And all these years later, now you get to enjoy the greatest cheeseburger on the planet because of my hard work and dedication. Now, how do you make these things? Well, get in your car, go to the grocery store. And I want to stress this part because this is a new economy. I realize times change. And I've been made aware by emails that some people actually get their groceries delivered to them. Not faulting you for that. I'm a capitalist. Get your groceries delivered. You can't do that for these. And you'll find out why in a second. So you, personally, take ownership of your burger. Go down to the grocery store. Beef section first. This is not health food night. This is Jesse Kelly burger night. I need you to walk right by all that 90-10 trash. I'm trying to lose weight. I don't care. Lose weight tomorrow. This is Jesse Kelly Burger Night. I need you to get the fattiest beef you can find. Normally, that's going to be 80-20 for most of you. I'm in Texas. We can get 73-27 lots of times here. That's a no-brainer. That's what I go. You need the fat. Trust me, you need the fat. Get that fatty burger. Make your way over to the cheese section. I know what you're thinking. You're going to be looking at all the, oh, look at all, there's Gouda, and there's cheddar, oh, there's smoked provolone, oh, there's it. Stop. It's cheeseburger night. I love all those cheeses, too. I'm a cheese freak. I'll eat all those cheeses all day long. Give me all the cheese. Not for Jesse Kelly burgers. American cheese is what goes on a cheeseburger. It gets the perfect meltiness, the perfect amount of tang to it. Go over, get the American cheese slices, throw them in your car. Then, the bun section. <clears throat> I'm going to try to remain calm. But when I go into the bun section, and I'm grabbing buns for my burgers, and maybe we're making hot dogs or something like that, I will watch people on the way to the buns, and I will watch people just walk up to the buns and just grab an open pack and just throw it in the car or not an open pack, just grab whatever, whatever pack of buns is at the closest to the aisle and then just grab it and just chuck it in the car. What is wrong with you? You have to finger the buns. You have to stop in the bun section, put down your hand basket, set the cart aside, whatever you're doing, it's a two-handed job, and start fingering those buns until you find the perfectly soft ones. And no, not all dates are the same either. Oh, this one, this one expires on, on April 1st, and this one also expires on April 1st. They must be the same. They're not the same. Finger the buns. Then, once you put your properly fingered buns back in your cart, to the condiments we go. Garlic powder? Powder. Did I say garlic salt? No. You don't want to make that mistake, trust me. Garlic powder? And then any kind of general seasoning will work. I've experimented with a bunch of them. It's not the star of the show, so maybe you're a Nature's Own or a Lowry's or a, there's a, maybe you're whoever. It doesn't matter. Any kind of general seasoning, grab it. Throw it in there. You'll need a little of that. Now, for the star of the show, go to the hot sauce section of the grocery store and pick up a bottle of Chipotle Tabasco. Did I say regular Tabasco? Did I say whatever hot sauce you like best? No, I didn't. I said Chipotle Tabasco. That's what I said. Get a ball of Chipotle Tabasco. Go pay. No shoplifting here. Go home. Prep time. Get your burger out. Lightly dust the burger with the garlic powder. Lightly dust the burger with the general seasoning. 
Again, lightly, I've screwed that up before in the past too, put way too much on there because the burger's too salty. Now, that's enough of the lightly. Take your bottle of Chipotle Tabasco and drown that meat in it. And I do mean drown it. And as soon as you get to the point where you're like, oh, that's got to be too much, pick up the bottle and put more in. I'll seriously use about half a bottle per pound. That's about where I go. You can't use too much. If you're thinking to yourself right now, Jesse, I don't like spicy foods. One, you're weird, but two, don't worry about it. Most of that heat cooks off. Well, you're gonna get something else from it. It's a smoky flavor. Now you make your patties. Once you mix all the ingredients up, your hands will be messy, but you make your patties. Now this is mainly for the fellas. A good cheeseburger is a thin burger, a thin patty. Dudes do this, uh, no, I want more meat. That's fine, you can have more meat. Make two thin patties then, three thin patties. But a burger should be thin, not thick, thin. Now, you got your patties formed, your thin patties. Make your way over to the frying pan. That's right, I said frying pan. Cast iron if you have one. If not, it's not the end of the world. Leave that grill alone and you cook my burgers on a flat top. A flat top of some kind. I use the frying pan, but whatever. Make sure it is flat because that burger, it must cook in its own fat. Medium, medium high heat. Sizzle it, flip it. The second you flip it, the second you flip it, put your American cheese on the burger. Cheese is always melted all the way on a burger. We are not savages here. As soon as that cheese is melted and the burger's done, take it off, put it on the bun. Now, you go over to the fridge. I want you to grab your ketchup and your lettuce and tomato and your mustard and your mayonnaise. And I want you to gather all that stuff and go throw it in the trash. Because my burgers don't require anything. No ketchup, no mustard, no mayonnaise, certainly not lettuce and tomato, which should never be on a burger. My burgers are perfect just the way they are. Meat, cheese, and bun. Enjoy. I'll see you. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.